What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Just Ignore Them. What a crazy, crazy, crazy game, man. I'm really intrigued to see what's going on here. Um, we're going to leave off right where we were last time in the uh, storage room. No, I don't know, wherever we found Mark. Um, <laughs> named it Bria Plain, all dead. So let's go right into here. Yeah, right, right here, whatever this was. Now, is there anything we can grab? I can go through the plane hatch. I'm going to open a door here. This must be the controls for the door. Does that mean I can go through now? Nice. What the hell was that for? I don't need that. <laughs> oh, yeah, we got the gun. I have to remember that. And I got chocolate. Uh, nothing here. Nope. Damn, keep hitting that. You go too far up on the screen, it brings up that menu. There we go. Okay. Um, so what the hell happened last time? We had the... The little dude. We took his picture. Uh, I don't know what else happened. Mark, he went up to get instructions. That's right. Okay, so let's go with the cockpit. Actually, we should have just gone through the stupid uh, hatch. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is a cutscene. Bria? Bria? Huh? Neeson! Where the heck have you been? Well, I was searching for survivors. I heard crying coming from the women's bathroom. I thought it was you. Neeson, don't start this stuff with me. First, you're the only one left on this plane after everyone went missing. Second, why the hell did you leave me your gun? Bria. And finally, you show up now? We have only 15 minutes before we reach the airport. This is not the time to be playing games. Bria, we won't survive. What do you mean? We're almost there. We're going to make it. For so long now, I've been weak. What are you going on about? I, I need... I need to eat. Well, just eat something. Oh, I will. Soon enough. Wait. That's why you're the only one left. Stay the freak there. Bria, 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 what's the matter, young lady? I don't trust you. That's, I don't trust you is the matter. And why is that? I thought we were getting along so well. We were, until you started acting like a freaking creep. Aw, oh, that's no way to speak to your daddy. Don't you even freaking say that. But I've missed you, my little boo-hoo. Oh, boo-boo. How? Neeson, just stop it, now. You wouldn't shoot your own daddy, would you, Bria? Uh, yes. You're not my father. And this is for everyone you killed today. Bria, no, wait. Boom. <laughs> Take that, you son of a biatch. Huh? Oh, crap. It's you. That means, oh, God, no. Nisan. Mwahaha. <laughs> Bria, this is Merc. I got the achievement unlocked. I shot the sheriff. Come to the cockpit. Okay, I don't know if I was supposed to shoot that guy, but whatever. We did. And to the cockpit. Let's go see Mark. Hey, Marky. Um, Bria, did you end up finding the air marshal? Yeah, um, no. I have no idea where he is. Yeah, I found him. Where is he? I could sure use his help right about now. He... he didn't make it. I'm sorry, Bria, but now we're in a heap of trouble. I've lost contact with the tower, and I have no freaking clue about what I'm doing. What do we do, Mark? Well, we wing it. You're not serious. No, I'm not. I have no freaking clue what to do. Great. At least we'll die laughing. Laughing? That might just work. What? We'll laugh the plane to safety? Before you mentioned that you saw a little man in a dark coat, right? Yeah, so? I need you to bring him to me. Mark, are you out of your goddamn mind? There's no time to explain. Just go get him. Well, good thing it's knocked out. Uh-oh. Hey, we actually got music. Oh, man, and I can't go down the hatch. All right, fine. We'll make the long, arduous trek all the way through. Oh, nice epic music. I don't need that. Is he okay? Nope. Well, I guess we're done with Neeson. <laughs> Don't need him anymore. I'm done with you. 
yet. Okay, so we go all the way down. So we got two dead people on the plane and two survivors. Nice. And two monsters. Okay. Keep going. That's where we're going. Please stay dead. I don't want you waking up on the way back. Oh, thank God you didn't make me walk there. Here, now are you going to explain to me what this thing is for? He has a signal booster in his mouth. Before you say, how do I know all this? I'll tell you. These aren't real monsters. They're not real? These things are manufactured. What? You mean people make these in warehouses? Is this some kind of sick joke? If we make it out here alive, I'll explain the rest. What the hell? Okay, I've boosted the signal. Hello, is anyone there? Hello? This is Control Tower 12. <laughs> how can I assist? You have no idea how good it is to hear your voice. So here's the short story. No survivors on this flight except for me and one other passenger. That also means no pilots. We are in need of instructions. We read you. Stand by for instructions. Make sure all passengers are seated with their safety belts. Okay, Bria, need to take a seat. I also need a co-pilot. Alright, dude, you got it. I'll be your wingman. Okay, Bria, you ready? I wish I had a smoke right about now. I'll buy you some when we land. Haha, <laughs> funny, Mark. Okay, control tower, we're ready. Achievement unlocked, fear of flying. Nailed it. I can't believe we made it. I live. Sweet. That's not the plane I'm talking about. Oh, okay. I couldn't imagine how Bria is feeling. Why didn't they take Bria? They must want me. I'm having second thoughts. Am I? After we landed the plane, we were taken to the hospital. We checked out at 9.45 a.m. We could still make it in time. I just hope he will understand. Hey, we're on a subway. So, Mark, where are we going? We're going to see someone. Dan? A friend. Mark, do I need to remind you what happened on the plane? Bria, I'm not lying to you. This guy will explain everything to you. Well, you need to start explaining first. He's a scientist. Well, I should say he was one. He helped create the GB. Is that what those things are called? Yes, but he will explain it to you better. Well, I hope we make it in time. You only get one window per day to see him. Why is that? He doesn't like company. He prefers to be alone. Well, he thinks that he will... Uh, he thinks that will keep him safe. Who? Dave. I thought you said his name was Dan. Yeah, I know. I didn't want to tell you much about him. Why? The more you know, the more risk you're at. So Dave, huh? Sounds like that kind of kid that gets bullied in school. No, that's quite the opposite. Everyone always, everyone always feared him. He made a chemical explosive once and was arrested at school. <laughs> he never used it, right? He did. Gee, sounds mental. Say, Mark. Yeah? Why did you take my lighter while I was asleep? Uh, sorry. I didn't mean to. I just needed... Ah, it's okay, Mark. I wasn't really asleep. I'm sorry, Bria. It's okay, Mark. Ah, oh, she knew I was creeping on her. No! <laughs> okay, we're nearly at her stop. But she was okay with it, so... That makes it okay? I don't know. Let's get ready. For what? Are we going to go get another lighter? And a cheap and unlocked? I hate the subway. Alright, so she's having a smoke. Hey, Bria. Are you ready, Bria? More than I'll ever be. I just want to say, good luck. Okay, you as well. Crates. I can't do anything with it. Pile of crates. That's interesting. Fragile. Must be Spanish. I wonder what was in them. Who knows? The grill. It's a grill. Huh. Made in France. Le grill. What the hell was that? <laughs> a window. I see nothing special about it. I can't do anything with it. Bria, what's that? A manhole. I can't do anything with it. Even if I could open it, I ain't going down here. Check the garbage cans for Missy. Nothing. Bubble gum. And the door. Bria, just wait here. I'll come get you soon. Okay, I'll just finish off my smell first. Alright, sounds good. Where the hell are we now? Well, this is it. 
I'm sorry, Bree, but I have to make things right. Uh, dining room. I need to see Dave first. Okay, so I guess we go upstairs. Creation room. Are you Dave? Uh, Dave? Dave, it's me. Mark. You're late. Yeah, by like two minutes. You know my rules, Mark. If you're late, then no business. You know, freak your rules. This is more important than you not wanting to exist. Now, Mark, there's no need to be like that. I know this is important to you, but remember, you're in my house. So you will listen to my freaking rules. You dig? <laughs> yes. Good. Now, do you have everything set? Did you bring the girl? I brought a girl. How old? About early mid-twenties. Bit young, but she'll do. The first one didn't make the cut. The girl from the diner? What happened? She didn't trust you? You could say that. You didn't kill her, did you? You know, it looks gracious floating above the floor. At peace with the world, unlike me. I have no idea why you did that for her. She was a perfect specimen. She didn't feel like mom, you know? Remember, Mark, this process has a higher success rate if you gain their trust. I know, I know. Bring her here so I can examine her. Okay, I'll be back soon. What? What's that? What's this? GB Experiment 104, codenamed Mother. The subject shows signs of restlessness and severe aggression. The human host is trying to reject the new brain cells. Strangely, it's merging with the host's brain and form a new conscience. This is no longer a single being, but two in one body. I have named this new discovery the Chimeran Jiwi. What? It's a lab bench. A torture table? Just happened to have one of those kicking around. It's an empty drawer. Can't do anything with it. Okay. Dave. Mm-hmm, and there. Wait, wait, what the hell is this thing? I'm gonna die here, aren't I? Huh, such a strange statue, it's missing something from its neck. Okay. What's going on in these rooms? Ew. There's something under the lid. A red key card. Who would do something so disgusting? Unsanitary. We got the key card. It's a key card made out of thick plastic. Weird. I'll say. I can't do anything with it. See nothing special about it. Can't do anything with it. Can't do anything with it. Okay. Out here. There you go. And bedroom. Uh, what the hell is going on? Why is there... Oh, maybe it's like an apartment or something. A torture room, bedroom, and a bathroom. Makes sense. Everybody has one of those, right? Damn, I didn't want to click on that. But I'm going to try the key card on this thing. Something missing from its neck. A key card, maybe? No. What's this big freaking... I can't do anything with it. Well, isn't that the strangest thing you ever saw? Can I do that? That won't do anything. Okay, and nothing on the bench. All right, let's go outside and uh, get the lovely Bria. Or no, we got the other room downstairs. We can check out that room, and then we'll get the Bria. I don't want to do that, though. That's just mean. It's a telephone. I can't do anything with it. See nothing special about it. Dining room. I need to see Dave first. No, you already saw. Let's go outside. We'll talk to Bria. Let's see what the hell is going on here. Hi, Bria. How you doing? Are you ready, Bria? Well, then everybody just want to say good luck. Okay, you as well. Okay, Bria, let's go and see you and Dave. Mark? Yes? I just wanted to say thanks. It's okay, Bria. Thanks for sticking with me. It's hard to find friends in this world when you've got nothing. Okay, Bria, let's go. Oh, no. Ah, you're both here. And who might you be? Her name is Bria. Can't she speak, Mark? I can speak. 
So she can. Marcus told me that you wish to know more about these monsters. Yes, I wish to know more. They seem to be following me now. I came here to look for answers, and answers you shall get. Now where should I start? Me and Mark have known each other since we were little, you know. We used to be the best of friends, didn't we, Mark? Yes, we did. What does this have to do with anything? This has to do with everything. You see, my father worked with the pharmaceutical company Niels Pharmas. He was working on a drug that could be re or that could reactivate the brain after death. Only if the brain was still in contact, of course. All memory of the original owner would still be there. It's as if they never even died. However, only the brain could reactivate, not the body. Also, you could not rewrite the brain's genetic code. Almost the point that the body doesn't work. There was none, but my father's found a way. He designed shells for the brains to control, like robotic humans to be exact. They replicated every human organ and structure. He called them Jeewees, after my mother. The monsters you've been encountering are the shells. If they're just brains controlling shells, why do they eat people? That's what the test subjects were used for. Only the brain's basic functions first to be reanimated, which is eat and sleep. But they remarkably learn so fast. But why design the shells to be capable to do such things? Ah, now remember when I said Mark has everything to do with this? Yeah. You see, my father was a noble man. A respectable, honest, and loyal man. But even the best of men have their flaws. My father was sleeping with his mother. Wait, what? My father was too blinded by his work. He didn't even notice. My mother left him not on... Oh, okay, wait, wait. Sleeping with Dave's mother, not his own mom. I was like, this is getting really freaking weird, man. <laughs> Holy crap, what kind of game is this? We both lost something that day. But my father lost his sanity. He designed the Jeewees into these monsters. Right after he killed yours, Mark. After he learned the truth. Mark? You told me you killed him. Bria, I... Mark... It was my father's mistake, not mine. It was unfortunate about your mother. Mark. But we can put an end to this, Mark. Set things right. Please, stay the night. I have a guest bedroom next door. Where are you going to sleep on the torture table? Mom? I hope you can forgive me. I don't know if I can do this. Maybe Dave will understand. I hope. Where did Bria go? Oh crap, now she's gone. Uh, maybe she's outside having a smoke. Or, in well, I guess barging into the bathroom is probably not the greatest idea. Nothing there. Sink? No. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna go here. Aha! Computer. And Dave's computer. Obviously all the information I need would be in here. If I face password protected. Use the card. That won't do anything. Damn it. Chemistry bench. Oh, maybe I got something here. There's a small flask here. It says to start the birthing process. Use this. Birthing process. Um Formula. Okay, we got a formula. Nothing. Nothing. What was that? There's some sort of railing behind it, but I can't move it. It's locked by something. What, the painting? Strange. I have this painting at home, but I don't remember it being black. Strange. There's a small black alley with pipes coming from the ground. Like maybe an underground furnace or something. Uh huh. Nothing else we can get into. Torch table. Can't do anything with it. Can't see anything special about it. Okay, let's go downstairs. Uh, we'll see if we can go into the other room that's there, maybe. I should search up here. Alright, so the only other thing to search is this thing here. And the eyeball sees everything. Mwahahaha. <laughs> uh, poke the eyeball. Um, what if I give the potion to the statue or the eyeball? Nope. And try the card on the statue again. 
and on the picture. Okay, what are we missing from up here then? There's got to be something that we're not doing. Uh, bathtub. Nope. Can't do anything with the vent. See nothing special about the toilet. There's the sink again. The towel, the mirror, and the toilet. And that's it. Nothing else. Upstairs. Okay. So we'll try this next room. Oh, wait, the picture. Okay. There's got to be something that we could do. There's no... I can't even do anything here. Uh, nope. Start the birthing process. Nope, that doesn't work. Okay, so it's got to be in the office, where Dave's office is. Because we got nothing out here. Nothing there. Clock or nothing. Nope. Okay, so we'll go back into Dave's office. What are we missing? What the hell is this? Oh, okay. Nothing is what it is. It's a live bench. Are you sure I can't put this in here? No. Um... Okay, wait. A note. It's a note. If it's the rose you seek, you need the right tools. What about the books? There's a book here that has no cover. It sounds like something's inside it. A key card. I wonder what it's for. So we have another key card. A yellow and a red one. Okay. Um, it's locked by something. Okay, so that key card won't work. What about the red one? No. Maybe this is a different journal entry. Uh huh, same thing. Tone, command, journal thing. I don't know what to do. Uh, is the password protected? Okay, do I have everything I need? Maybe I can go downstairs now. Yeah! Alright, and you know what I'm going to do? The last episode ran quite a bit longer than I was expecting, so I'm going to call the episode right here, and uh, we're going to explore around in this area in the next episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, you already know what to do with that like button. The series is getting really, really cool. I hope you're really enjoying it. If you do, make sure you hit that sub button before you go. You'll get to see tons of videos every single day, and I do live stream over on Mixer.com forward slash chills 504. Take care. Very simple.